All right, boys, today we're going to talk about scrubbing. We're going to talk about a few different techniques and why scrubbing matters so much. And I think how much you guys are undervaluing scrubbing in this game and really not understanding how much of a difference it makes. I honestly don't think I realized how much of a difference it made until I started making this video. It's actually kind of insane. Also, stick around to the end because I'm going to show you kind of some specific situations where some unique styles of scrubbing can really, really pay off. And again, I don't think you're going to want to miss that. So make sure you stick around to the end. What I'm going to be doing is kind of showing you some things in first person and then bouncing back around into third person replay so you guys can see how big of a difference it makes. So stick around. There's going to be a lot of talking, kind of an analytical video, but these are kind of my favorite to make. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, boys, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you three different techniques. I'm going to show you the regular, just actually no technique at all is where we just jump the jump. Okay. Didn't really do anything. We just jumped the jump. Now what we're going to do is we're going to sit down and lean forward right at the top of the jump without turning our bars at all. Just sit down and lean forward. That's it. And then right here, this is the big one. We're gonna sit down, lean forward, and turn our bars. Are you ready? Watch, we're gonna sit down, lean forward, and turn the bars. And let's look at how big of a difference that makes. All right, boys, so we're gonna use third person here, and we're gonna use this tree coming up as a point of reference. So this is not doing anything. This is just jumping the jump, nothing special going on. We're gonna use this tree right here, the little one, okay? Look how high I am over that tree. You can see I'm going 36 miles an hour. Now pay attention to the speed. Drops down to 35 and then back up to 36. Very, very high. Now let's let's look back at how high I was here, okay? We're, we're feet above the RD sign. We're basically in line with these trees, all right? Now when I lean forward and I sit down right at the face of the jump. So as you can see, I'm coming in, standing, coming in, standing. And then right about there, I sat down and leaned forward, okay? As you can see, first of all, much lower, okay? We were above these trees, now we're down here. But look at the speed. It stayed 36, it never dropped into 35. And I know you're like, duck, what is one mile an hour? Well, one mile an hour and like five feet slower, or five feet lower, excuse me, is a huge difference. Now look at this. This is the scrub. We're leaning forward and turning, right? Lean forward, sit and turn. Look at this, boys. Look at how, okay, first of all, look how low we are, okay? We were up here. We were up here at one point. Then we're down here. And now look how much lower we are. And look at that speed, 38 miles an hour, okay? We're going three to four miles an hour faster over that one jump just by scrubbing. That is actually insane. Okay, I wanna show you this on one more jump here. This is a jump that you come in very, very fast. I'm not gonna do anything on here, okay? Didn't jump or didn't lean forward, just jumped, okay? Now what we're gonna do is lean forward and sit like I was saying, just lean forward and sit. Okay, and we're gonna pay attention to the speed and the distance. All right, so what we're doing here is we're sitting down, leaning forward and scrubbing. Oh my goodness. All right, let's watch that back in replay. All right, here we are. This is not doing anything at all. This is just hitting the jump, regular roll, straight air to it. Okay, first of all, let's see how high we are. All right, we're way up here, kind of in these trees. Look where we land, all right? We land basically in between these two track markers at 47 miles an hour, as you can see. All right, like not the greatest. Now let's fast forward to this is sitting forward or sit, man, I keep saying that sitting down, leaning forward, sitting forward. As you can see, we're kind of, we're kind of in the same spot here, but when we land, first of all, we land much shorter at 53 miles an hour. All right. Much, much shorter there. All right. Now here's where we scrub. All right. This is leaning forward, sitting and scrubbing. First of all, Look how low we are, all right? We were up here in these trees. Now we're down here in the fence, all right? This is crazy. Now, we landed. We are going a little bit slower, but look how much earlier we landed. And by the time we get here, let's look at where the speed is, okay? We're back up into the, we were into the 50s right around there, 50 miles an hour. And then we were able to stay that much lower. That's crazy. All right, so I wanted to slow this down a little bit so that you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. 
As I'm coming into this jump, I'm standing, and this is very fast. Look at my controller. Lean forward and put my joysticks together, all right? So we're going to show you that one more time. All right, look at my joystick over there. I'm slowing this down like crazy, all right? You can see coming up to it, standing. I'm going to lean forward, sit, and push my sticks towards each other. That's how you do the scrub. Lean forward, sit, and push your sticks towards each other. All right, let's talk about our first technical type scrub. And that is on a jump where you have a huge run up like this, where if I just hit it wide open, I'm going way out there. Like, what the heck, all right? Now, let's skip just the sitting down, leaning forward, and go straight to if I was to scrub this in a traditional way, right? Like, we sit down and lean forward, and we still end up hitting that wall. Like, what? How do we do that? Like, what happens there? So what we're going to do is we're going to go flying into this. We're not going to let off at all, and we're going to hit the brakes, all right? Did you guys? Okay, did you guys see that? Let, let's take a little look at this. I'll do it again, actually, all right? We're going to hold this thing wide open, do our scrub like we normally would, lean forward, sit, scrub, but also hit the brakes. As you can see, sometimes it comes all the way around. If you time it right, it's amazing. Now, let's watch this in third person. All right, here we go. This is doing nothing. I want you to see how far. Look, at, first of all, look how high. We're like so high up here, all right? So high. This is what happens if you do nothing and you just hold it wide open, right? Then this is doing a regular, like lean forward scrub like i was telling you you stay so much lower but you're still too high right and you're still going to over jump that and hit the wall and you can't jump into those rollers now look at this is the first one this has come flying into this as you can see right there look i start to apply the brakes about halfway up that jump right we just kind of click the brakes first of all look at how low oh my goodness right and we basically downside this jump Okay, you're able to go wide open into the jump and almost downside that. Now, this one was a little crazy, but we go into this. Go, 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 slow motion, hit the brakes again. As you can see, I'm still just barely on those brakes halfway up the face of that jump. Look at how low you are. Obviously, we ended up 316. Somehow we rode that out. I don't know. That's just crazy. But if you can master that. You can go so much faster. Cam is amazing at this, by the way. All right, we're going to go over here to Argentina now, okay? And I'm going to show you something that this has a lot more to do with just how the game is built than like a scrub technique. This little roller here is kind of difficult to get over. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird to scrub. And it, it, I don't know, it's just, it just is odd. So what I, I'm going to show you a little technique that kind of highlights what is going on with the game and how the game works and i think it'll help you apply it to a lot of different situations we're gonna go into this like normal and then we're gonna sit right there okay i don't know if you guys noticed that but i just glided over that okay i'm gonna show you what it looks like if i don't sit and i just go into it leaning back like you would to get your traction i basically did it the first time but i'm just gonna show you again so you can see we go into it, we're just leaning back See, I stayed on the jump the whole time. I didn't get over the jump. Okay, I'd like to let you guys know that I'm showing you this, not because I'm saying it's specifically faster here, but just to show you what the game is doing. So as you can see, I'm coming up to this. We're gonna hit this bump right here. You can see I'm standing, 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 standing. And right about there, when I hit that bump, I sit. And as you can see, I end up, the bike ends up coming up to my butt and I just float over that jump. Now, again, I'm not saying that this is faster in this situation, but I'm just trying to highlight what it does. Now, if we're leaning back or just kind of going through this like we normally would, as you can see, I basically stay on top of this jump the, the whole time until right about there, I leave the ground. Now, I wanted to show you this just so you guys can see that when you sit in this game, I've said this a million times, but I feel like there's still people out there that don't understand. When you sit in this game, the back of the bike comes up to the rider. It's the opposite of real life. When you sit in real life, you sit on the bike. In MX bikes, when you sit, it pulls the bike up to your butt. And the opposite, when you stand, the bike gets shoved down away from the rider. And then also, when you lean forward in this game, he pulls the bike to his chest. That's why if you see people going through rollers or something, or even if you want to do a wheelie, the way to do a wheelie is not leaning back. Watch. 
if I pop the clutch and I lean back, watch, nothing happens. But if I pop the clutch and I lean forward, the, the front of the bike comes up. That's because the rider is pulling the bike to his chest. Also, let's, I'll show you what it looks like when you sit in the air, what it looks like versus just hitting a jump. So we're gonna hit a jump right, right here. Nothing, nothing crazy, we're just gonna hit the jump. Now, we're gonna turn around and I'm gonna sit in the middle of the arc of the jump so you can see what happens, all right? I'm gonna do this and then we're gonna sit. Uh, you can see kind of there how the front end drops, but we're gonna watch it in a replay so you guys can get a better understanding. All right, so here we are. This is, I just want you to watch the bike. This is when we're not doing anything, right? We're just jumping the bike. See how the bike stays very level, very level, very level. Nothing really happens. Now let's fast forward to, this is when I sit, all right? And I'll tell you exactly where I sit. Look, everything's fine. Watch the rider. He sits. All right, you see that? You see how much that bike, look at the rear wheel. It's here. Watch me sit. Look at, look at how much it rotates the back of the bike up. Now, you may be wondering, Doc, like, well, that's just the shifting of the weight. It's really, it's really not, okay? It's the back of the bike is glued to the rider. And when you sit, it comes up to his butt. Now, where can you use this? In scrubs, it's really helpful. In supercross, it's really helpful. It's also really helpful just in braking bumps. People always talk about how they think that, you know, pro riders are cheating and whatever, and they just don't understand. Well, a lot of it, if you ever watch a high level rider, Linz, you know, Cam, any of these guys, Finn, well, maybe not Finn, because he just stands 24 seven, but a lot of these guys are sitting and standing a lot, especially in Supercross. If your back tire is about to clip a jump, sit, like right there. I was about to clip, I sat, and I got over it a lot better. If you need to pre-jump something in braking bumps or something like that, sit down in the middle of the braking bump section. You know, in the, in the middle of the rough stuff, sit down, get that rear end to come back. If you need to keep your rear end on the ground and you're sitting, stand up. It'll shove the back of the bike on the ground. There's so many little tiny techniques that you can use for this kind of stuff. And if you understand the physics, it'll help you scrub more. It'll help you get through pretty much everything better. So I hope that this was helpful for you guys. I know I kind of got off on a little tangent and not talking about scrubbing, but I hope the scrubbing was helpful at least for you. And uh, anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. I love you boys and I will see you in the next one.